Today we're going to dive into the world of mounting solutions. I'm James with Nas Solar Electric and I'm plugging you into solar. So the focus on this video is mostly going to be on large ground mounted solutions just like what you see behind me. But first let's briefly dive into some of the other mounting solutions that we have available. First, roof mounting solutions, they're commonly used for pitch roofs or flat roofs. And these systems can be like mounted on rails or they can be railless mounted. We will often fix these rails to rafters or trusses, maybe even to the decking. Or in some cases, these mounting solutions can even be ballasted with weights. Uh, they are relatively inexpensive and they require minimal prep work to be installed on the roof. Pole mounting systems are usually, they feature a single pole, but they can have multiple, but most of the time they, they feature a single pole. And for the most part, they can be adjustable, so you can adjust their angle. While they generally handle smaller arrays, they can be customized, but for the most part, they have minimal customization. So ground mounts, they're ideal for large quantities of modules. These are a scalable solution using a modular construction. The mounts can be embedded in concrete, you can put them in ground screws, or in some cases they can even be affixed to like a ballast block. Ground mounts offer various customization with respect to fixed tilt angle or height. They can be used also with uh, unique applications like for carports or even uh, for shade structures like a gazebo or something. All right, so now let's dive deeper into ground mounts. Let's look at some examples. Let's look at how they get constructed. Right here we have a Tamarack ground mount. And what's really cool about Tamarack ground mounts is they can come in a kit. So we have the first column kit and we have add-on columns that increase the quantity of modules. So a first column kit will support three high or four high module configurations and then we can add on additional columns of modules to increase the size of the array. All right, so Tamarax kits, they come in a first column and an add-on column. The first column will have four piers and an add-on column will have two piers. You have your north pier and your south pier. So ground mounts will use pipe for the framing. In this particular example, this is two inch schedule 40 steel pipe, but ground mounts can also use three inch depending on the mount system that's being used. Now, it's important to note that pipe is measured based on the inside diameter. Don't mess that up. It's a very expensive mistake. Okay, so the ground mounts are made up of vertical piers. You usually have a north pier and a south pier. Horizontal cross pipes. This is the rigidity and frame for your east to west arrangement. And this also supports your rails, which create the frame for clamping the solar modules to. On top of that, you can also have wind bracing between the south and north piers to help with the rigidity and stability of the array. So the rails create a frame that the modules can clamp to. So there's clamps that basically hook underneath these rails and they clamp the modules to the rails. Your rails run from north to south and create that structure that the array sits on top of. Ground mounts are bonded structures. So all your rails and your modules and your clamps and the clamps to the cross pipes and everything are bonded. At the very top or somewhere along the array, you'll create a bonding lug and you'll tie this equipment grounding conductor or grounding electrode conductor down into a ground rod. A really common installation method for ground mounts is to do what's called post and concrete installation. This requires you to auger out a hole. You're gonna excavate this hole, put in a cardboard cylindrical concrete form, then embed your pipe and pour it with concrete. So this solution's 14 kilowatts per array, 40 kilowatts total. It's a great example of the scalability for a ground mount. And ground mounts are amazing because they can be easily expanded too. Like if we want to throw more panels, just throw another array up behind this. It's a really expandable option and especially relevant when there's limited roof space. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, 
subscribe for more content like this, or visit our learning center. We have a ton of information available. We're helping you plug into solar.